Hi guys, this is Katja with Creative Image Studio. Today I'd like to share uh, an experiment that I have done by buying a dye on AliExpress. Now I have bought other dyes on AliExpress and uh, they were okay. Some of them worked perfectly fine, others uh, not so much. So, uh, but this one, it looks a bit strange, right? And I think I should hold it like this. I think it's supposed to be like, no, I'm still holding it wrong, like this. This is supposed to be, I think, like a uh, paint jar. And um, this then is the paint that, f that you pour out of it. So it's a bit like paint pouring. Um, yeah. So I thought I would try that out with you all on camera and um, share my thoughts. All right, so here it is up close. So we have the little paint jar and then the paint uh, flowing out. So um, you would need preferably a colorful piece of paper to cut this from because your paint, the paper will color, will be the color of your paint, right? So I was thinking, let's do a mixed media piece. So that is several colors of, well, either paint or inks or uh, some such. So not just a solid piece of paper. You could use a solid piece of paper. Say that you use black, then the, then the paint would be black. And you could put this on a white or a colorful piece of paper. But I think it would be fun to do the paint uh, in uh, at least several colors. And to save some time, I'm not going to do the mixed media thing uh, on camera, um, but I will take my Diane Reevely insert book. It's from her dialogue system. And uh, yeah, th this is, these are all blank pages and this is mixed media heavy stock. So you can paint on it and ink on it and wet it and whatever you like. So I have done several of these experimental mixed media uh, backgrounds. So I have already chosen uh, one for the paint. Let me see where it is. Oh, here, and I have already cut it out to be quick about it. So this is gonna be my paint. Okay, I'm gonna put it through the die cutting machine and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is what we have now, which is quite <laughs> quite fun I think and I see I have to clean up this edge here so I'm gonna cut that off so there we go I just cut that off um, okay let's take a card so I chosen this lavender colored card and let's see if this fits no it does not I'll have to cut it a bit smaller but you get the idea of it right so this is the background and then you're pouring paint on it so I have to say I really like the effect but I still think it's missing something you could do it like this and then maybe put a sentiment here but um, I think this background is a bit um, it's too much of a, of a, of a card let's say um, I don't like it so um, I think I will have to find another mixed media background uh, to mat it with and then mat this on top of that so I'm gonna go back to my Diane Reevely um, insert book and pick from what I have already created and of course I have already picked one now I picked this one Mostly because I experimented here with some wall uh, brick pattern here and I thought it would be fun to mimic sort of a um, graffiti effect, right? So if this is supposed to be a wall and let's say I would pour paint on top of that. Look, isn't it like pouring paint? onto a wall some well at least somewhat right so i think i'm going to go with this so i'm going to cut everything to size and mat the card so now i'm going to ink around the edges with some black soot distress ink Now 
I have to say, I already like this card, so um, you could even send this out as is, put a sentiment on it uh, and a flower and uh, off you go. So these mixed media uh, backgrounds, uh, this, is, this is an experiment even, but um, it turned out quite nicely, I think. But that's not what we're going to do today. So let's take the die cut piece. So um, I want to ink around the edges and then uh, use some stickles or some glitter glue. All right, now I managed to get most of it done, but all of these curves and nooks and crannies, um, my uh, my blending foam doesn't uh, cannot reach here. So what I always do is take a marker, and it doesn't really matter what kind of marker that you have. Now this is a super cheap one from the children's department, and I'm using it on purpose to show you that you don't always need these fancy expensive brand stamped markers but if you want to you could use those as well of course but anyway so you take your your nooks and your crannies and then you go in from the back because if you do it like this and you uh, slip up then you will have a black mark on your work so if you use it like this and you slip up the mark will be on the back so go in from behind your project and then just do the edges like this. And of course you can do the inside of these open places as well, which is something that you could never do with the blending tool. And it looks awesome. Maybe at first glance you won't notice it, but uh, in the back of your mind, you will notice that this looks very professional because all of the whites here, they have disappeared. Well, anyway, it's just something I do and I like to do. Um, you don't have to do anything you don't want, of course. So, let's stick this on top of the other. for these narrow pieces of paper I always use this kind of glue bottle you buy these empty and then fill it up with your favorite wet glue so now it's time to finish up so um, I'm gonna think about a sentiment or something here or maybe here and then at the end I'm going to add the uh, stickles or the glitter glue or maybe even um, liquid pearl or liquid enamel at least well anyway something to uh, to do this jar uh, and I always do that last because that has to dry and as long as it's wet and I'm working here um, well I always get into it with my hand because I always forget that there's a wet piece so I always do that last, so um, I'm going to um, figure out to uh, do some sentiments here and then um, stick those on. So to find a sentiment, I'm going to use these uh, quote chips by Tim Holtz. And there are several of the quotes, uh, you can see them all here. So I just um, put it all here and let's sort through them and find one that suits this card. This one here. Blessed are the curious. So let me get rid of this and then color this. Okay, so I cut them all up and now I'm gonna color them and I am gonna use some Distress Re-Inkers for that. So I have this, this um, palette. And you can buy these from Ranger. And these are uh, empty palettes that you buy and then you can fill them up with anything that you like. I'm guessing you could even fill them with eyeshadow or lipstick, come to think of it, but that's a whole different topic. Um, I filled it up with a drop of re-inker. Now these re-inkers are so concentrated that you cannot see what color uh, they are. So on the uh, lid here, let me move the camera. I downloaded some, um, well, I downloaded the, um, What's it called? Well, these circles here, the color circles, let's say, <laughs> from the Ranger website. And then I punched them out with a, I think it's a three quarter of an inch uh, circle punch. 
and then they just uh, stuck them here so now I can see what is uh, what which is which okay so I also went ahead and got a red distress marker so this is a candied apple um, and why a distress marker because that will react with water and I am going to use of course water so I think we're going to start with the red and then uh, let it bleed with the other colors I'm going to just color it pretty randomly Okay, so now I want to um, ink the edges of these chipboard pieces. Now I'm going to use a different purple, Dusty Concord, with a simple blending tool. So let's see how to position these. So I'm going to use my wet glue again to uh, adhere these. A great effect isn't it so the last part uh, of my card is to decorate this die cut here uh, yeah so am I going to fill it up or not I think I am let's do it so let's start off with that at shadow guys I don't know what I'm doing um, it's round on the inside so the shadows would probably be like this so I'm adding a bit of that Neptune to oh really that is supposed to be shadow which I don't know if that makes any sense at all and if it doesn't well We've just played with some nice colors. And let's move on with the black enamel accents and do the outline. So in my mind, this will be a bit like a, um, like a drawing with a black pen. You know, like the comics, they always ink their, uh, their uh, penciled artwork well this is not of my not my best work but um, I feel that this uh, liquid enamel is very liquid so uh, it's very thin actually so it um, and this uh, this tip it's not a needle tip so it it flows out and then you have a thick line and it's difficult to control but I'm going to let it dry now for at least two hours and because of the fairly thick layering here I think I'm going to do four hours at least. All right, see you later. All right, so that turned into an entire tutorial but the goal was to test this dye and uh, yeah, you saw it worked and it worked perfectly well. I only needed one go through the uh, die cutting machine to get a clean cut. And uh, well, I used it like this, I'm uh, holding it correctly, yeah, like this. But I'm guessing you could also, you know, just tilt it a bit, depending on the size and the orientation of your card. So you could play around with this. And you could uh, also play around with the color um, that you use for your uh, paint. And I used a mixed media inked background to pretend the paint. And I also used a mixed media background for the background. You could also use design paper and you could use a solid paper, a plain colored paper. Well, you could, you know, you could do whatever you want. This dye, I think, um, is very cute. 
um, there are not so many variations um, except this kind, you know, just, you know, play around with the paint. But uh, still you can do nice effects, I think, and uh, you could also perhaps uh, do another one and then, you know, in, in sort of a mirror uh, orientation and put it a bit higher. You, you could play around a bit with, the, with this. So uh, I'll put a link below in the description for the, um, the, the little shop that I bought this from. Uh, I will check if it's still uh, there. Um, this is not an affiliated link, guys. I am not sponsored. I'm just, you know, for your convenience, putting the link there uh, in case you want to try this as well. What I also don't know if it is if this is perhaps a dupe for uh, some brand, maybe um, an actual named brand has uh, come up with this, brought it to the market, and then maybe uh, it got duped. Uh, so if you do recognize this, put it in the comments and uh, tell me what brand it is. So, um, you know, you can shout it out to, uh, to all of the watchers and the readers. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Press the like if you like this video. Um, I will be testing some other AliExpress stuff, uh, including paper in uh, my future videos. So thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want more of where this came from and I will see you next time. Bye bye.